In this section, we are going to learn about HTML quotation and citation elements. First, we are going to learn about block quote. The HTML block quote element defines a section that is quoted from another source. Browser usually indent block quote elements. So let's write here P. Here is a quote from Google's website. Now I'm going to use the block quote tag B Alice block quote and then use site attribute. And I'm going to put HTTP as page whatever google.com and the tag and anything I put here you see that is getting indented so it is indenting and this is how we can put a cloak uh, quote using the block quote at a uh, block quote element now let's say I don't need a long quote. I want a short quote inside a line. So how are we going to do that? We are going to use the Q tag. First, I'm going to take the P and write Google's goal is to, and then I want to use my quote, right? So I'm going to use the Q tag and then put lorem just say 15. see the words are inside a quotation this is how we can use the q tag for short quotation now in our day-to-day -day activities we have to use a lot of abbreviations we can use the ABBR tag to use abbreviation in our uh, web page as well. So first, we need to take the P tag, and then we are going to write the something something, but we want abbreviation, right? So all we are going to do is ABBR tag, end it, and inside that I'm going to take an attribute title and in that attribute I'm going to explain I'm going to write the full form of the attribution let's just say WHO means World Health Organization organization and inside the ABBR tag I'm going to write the WHO and then I'm going to write uh, lorem 10. Now you see there is uh, some sort of underline dotted underline underneath the WHO word and if I hover over it you can see the whole you can see the whole meaning of that word. So this is how we can use ABBR to explain abbreviations. In our website we may need to use addresses and to do that we can also use the address tag now this address tag defines the contact information for the author or owner of a document or an article the contact information can be an email address url physical address phone number social media etc and the text in the address element usually renders in the italic and browser will always add a line break before and after the address element so let's write it address and everything we write in between written see this is in italic and now i'm going to go to another one visit us at and to differentiate the lines i'm going to use the br tag
www.google.com and then box 564 la la land yes so this is how we can use the address tag now we might have to use some citation i'm using some let's just say i'm using some author's quote and anything so i need to tell the readers that i'm taking it from them so i can use the site attribute for that as well site tag for that and to do that let's use a p tag first and in the p tag i'm going to put the site and now i'm going to write the blood money by author a j tom son see the letter uh, the the book name has is in italics now and the letter and everything is in like regular letters so this is how we can use block quote address site and then what and also the q tags in our uh, in our web page